It's great to see you. I hope you're well. I had the privilege of using this brand new stamp set from the Autumn Winter Mini Catalogue called Snowflake Wishes. I've had a quick play and borrowed it off my downline. So I got out some blue colours but I only end up using Pool Party and Pacific Point for my first project. So when you get a new stamp set I just like to have a play, see what the images come out like and then immediately I'm going in with a second generation stamping and starting to layer up those snowflakes to see what happens. There's so many ideas and possibilities that you can do with this stamp set and they come in all different sizes as well so you can really mix and match and as I said use a second and third generation stamping. So just by twisting, oh I managed to drop it on my page then so I just styled it out and just carried on stamping with that one. You can twist them, it's because of the amount of points on each snowflake you can really easily centre the snowflakes and just by layering them up you get completely different ones as well. So just experiment by twisting and turning and layering and stamping over each other. I felt like I was inventing new snowflakes <laughs> the more that I stamped. So like no two were the same. These also make really fun just geometric patterns to play with also. Using a strong colour like Pacific Point I managed to get at least three stamps out of it. Now look at those tiny ones, aren't they adorable? Um, I loved tw just twisting it, just twisting it ever so slightly and so you got the points on the other side. So coming in with Pool Party and I'm using the uh, small flurry of snowflakes just to fill in some of these gaps. And there's my experimenting with one side of the sheet. So that's one half sheet of A4 paper. Next I wanted to have a go with a different colour palette. So Cinnamon Cider, Sahara Sand and Merry Merlot. Not what you'd probably think of when you think of snowflakes but I like the idea of that kind of... Uh, I was going to say aztec -y inspired, I don't know, kind of warm autumn winter colours with the snowflakes. So I'm just laying down the biggest snowflake across the centre in a kind of wavy design across my page. And this is working with A5 paper. So you might be intimidated by a whole big piece of paper. This is a great way of just starting simply. If it goes wrong, then, you know, you've only wasted half a sheet. So going in with Merry Merlot and using again just second generation stamping and then filling in the gaps with the smaller stamp. I wanted to give this a go again. I wasn't completely convinced my first go. I wondered if maybe the snowflakes in the centre were too big and taking over. So giving it another go with the same colours. As you can see I'm stamping off and then coming back in with a cinnamon cider and actually overlapping the design I've got already just to see if it will show through. Now this is a bit of a brave move, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do this but this is going in with Merry Merlot and when you go in full strength obviously you are covering some of your design. So because I love that kind of twisty design I did earlier I'm going to recreate it on this card. I think it looks really fun in the Merry Merlot colour. Using the stamped off cinnamon cider and just filling in the gaps around the each side of those and then oh, I then started calling the bone snowflake <laughs> just because it reminded me of doggy bones and just filling in some of the gaps on there. So another two sheets done with that colour scheme. I decided to bring back this particular sheet because your focus is so much on that cinnamon cider in the middle that I wanted to just add a bit more. So going completely off piste now and trying a different colour combination using uh, Highland Heather. And I'm just seeing how these patterns lay down and as you can see it creates this really fun, easy to produce geometric path pattern and I've just stamped it all across this half sheet of A4. So technically, I suppose if I left it there, you know, it then doesn't look like snowflakes. But I was then tempted to keep on adding a bit more pattern to it. Again, you probably could have stopped here, um, but I just was wanted to add a bit more. So I went in with Petal Pink 
to just fill in some more gaps. I didn't want the colour to be too strong, that's why I'm stamping off. But actually in the end it probably wouldn't have made too much of a difference. How fun is that? Making kind of geometric patterns with the snowflakes. So it's amazing what you can do with just experimenting and then in a minute I'm going to show you what I've done chopping these up and turning them all into different cards. So that's just with one stamp set and a few colours. It's amazing what you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop these all up into down to a size that I can work with. And using some sentiments from the set, I've cut those out with die cut shapes into circles and some matching scallop backgrounds. Then I found some um, ribbon scraps, so I'm going to use this up from, I think this was from last year's catalogue, this lovely Merry Merlot shimmer ribbon. And then I thought, oh, it'd be nice to layer this up with the early espresso, that lovely kind of faux suede ribbon that we've got in the catalogue. So just using some stamp and seal to pop the ribbon on the back and then just adhere this to some cinnamon cider cardstock. Then popping up the sentiment on some dimensionals to stick in the middle. I also had some of these uh, foil cutout shapes from the matching dies, used the foil that's in the autumn winter catalogue and just went ahead and cut out a load of shapes to be able to use on my card. So next I'm just using what was left of the ribbon to create a bow and then incorporating some more of the foil snowflakes. I felt that everything got a bit lost so I had got this scrap of very vanilla from when I was cutting down my card and just by putting that white strip behind it, it just helps to break up the design. This time going in with Merry Merlot cardstock. So with these next ones, I had these lovely sentiments and I thought, oh, it'd look nice mounted on some strips of card so I've gone ahead and done that just use my pokey tool to get out those fiddly little bits in the dies and I'm just gonna use those foil shapes again to decorate the card not too much I'm putting my silicone mat on I found that some of the foil was a little bit slippy but by pressing it all over with a silicone mat this helped me to be able to stick down the shapes without getting too mucky and sticky And that was mounted on the cinnamon cider. Those foil shapes just really shimmer and shine and help to add something extra. So again going in with the same kind of strip design on this card and I did want to put the snowflake in the back. <laughs> I'd already put glue on the sentiments. So I quickly lifted it up. I thought actually I could just go ahead and stick the sentiment down and I've cut the snowflake in half so I can fit it on either side of the sentiment. It's a great way to utilise your dies and to stretch them. That one got mounted on some Merry Merlot with some extra snowflakes. For Unto Us is another new stamp set in the Autumn Winter Catalogue and I really wanted to get using this stamp set. So I'm using for uh, Oh Come Let Us Adore Him and popping that onto the strip. I think I had some boo-boo so I decided to cut these down with the rectangle stitched framelit dies and using some mint macaron ribbon and just adding some dimensionals on top of that. Using a bit of bling, a bit of diamantes to complete the look onto some Pacific Point card. Then these gorgeous little glittery stars. This one just hung nicely just on top of that snowflake so I was determined to try and make sure I could fit it exactly in that place. So I'm kind of working in reverse and holding down the star in place then seeing where the sentiment goes and then working backwards. And then just to kind of showcase the star I add some of our gems around it and you can just let the star swing side to side. So for this last one I'm using the sentiment from Fireside Place and I've gone ahead and put a piece of purple posy ribbon across the card. Now although this isn't completely Christmassy wintry it still had that snowflake look about it so I did stick to that kind of uh, theme. 
So I just punched the edge of that tag and this time using the lovely polka dot toile ribbon to create a bow. And then I decided to do a double layer with the card to help the colours pop a bit more. So Highland Heather on soft sea foam. Then using up some more product, these are some iridescent sequins that I had in my stash just to add a bit of sparkle. So these are all the cards I managed to make. It took about an hour or so to make all these and to kind of bring everything together. But for a productive afternoon, I thought that was quite good. So you can get all these cards, all very unique, all very different. And that's all using the lovely snowflake stamp set and just incorporating a few embellishments and sentiments to the card. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Do think about subscribing. If you're not a subscriber already, then you can catch all my other videos and thumbs up if you particularly like this video comment below let me know which one you like the best which one you would have liked to receive for christmas perhaps <laughs> and let me know if you are thinking of ordering this stamp set you can of course order from my online shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk thank you very much for watching have a good day